Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing um, two topics, which is building the tables. Okay. So to build the tables, there are two ways. One, uh, just directly inserting the values from here, and second one is um, you'll have a website here, and by using that website, you will be uh, taking the data from there, and uh, I mean it's basically data scrapping. Okay, data scrapping means what? The website will have some data, and you will be taking that data and putting in your uh, application and saving it somewhere. Okay, so these two uh, things will be discussed. Uh, so let's get started with the first one. Go to the project and click on main.saml. So you'll, this uh, uh, window will be opened. Then uh, add a sequence. Okay, so how do we add a sequence? Just drag and drop here. Drag and drop in this one. So for now, I'll be closing the variables tab. I'll be um, dropping it here. Okay. So we now have a sequence, and uh, the thing what we need to uh, type here is we need to build a data table, right? So just write here build. Uh, it will come build data table and uh, drag and drop here. Now double click on this one. So you'll be able to insert some values here. So for now, I'll be inserting some values uh, which are present here. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do it from scratch. Just erase it. And we'll be starting it from the starting. So first, write uh, employee name. I'm writing an employee name. It's of the string type. And allow null if you want to allow null. If you don't want to allow null, that's on you. And auto increment. Uh, we'll see it later. And default value. If you want to fill all the values uh, initially, something that then you can write here. If you want the values to be unique, you can pick this one. Maximum length is minus one here. Means there is no length specified here. If you want to specify a length, means how many letters can be there in this uh, column um, cell. That also you can specify here. So let's click OK. It's created here. Okay, I'll be creating two more things. Uh, the employee name, employee age, and the last one. Employee age, since it is an integer value, I'll be writing here integer 32. And the last one is employee um, what is that salary? Okay. So employee salary also I'll be writing here, and uh, it is also of the int type. Fine. Then I'll be clicking on OK. Now let's insert some uh, random values here. First I'll be inserting A, and uh, employee age. The employee age is 25 years, and employee salary. Employee salary is uh, 2,500. Next, uh, let's create the second one. The second employee is B, and the employee age is 30. And the employee salary is uh, four thousand. And clicking on this one, uh, the top row will create another row uh, below this one. So we'll be writing here C, and the employee age is thirty-five, and the salary is six thousand. Fine. After you have done this one, you have created the uh, table. Then we'll be clicking on OK. Okay. Then after you have created the data table, then uh, this has to be outputted somewhere, right? Uh, this cannot be just as follows. So I'll be taking a screenshot of this uh, that uh, will be coming uh, to the help means it will be a, of our help at a later point of time. So let's take a screenshot of this one and keep it. Okay. I'll be telling I'll be referring this table frequently. So I have taken the screenshot of it. Now next uh, what I have to do is I have to add an output output data table. What does output uh, data table do is it will convert this data table into a string value. Okay. So this is the data table. The output should I have to specify means whatever is my data table, right? This data table has to be stored in a variable. Okay, so the variable will be created. So I'm uh, creating a variable my t. Okay, my uh, t uh, t is nothing but my table. So in uh, my t it is uh, stored. This data table is stored, and output data table uh, will convert this table into a string value. Okay, so how does it convert? Is it will take the input as the data table name, which is my t. Already have created it, and it will output the text. So I have to create a variable by using Control K, in which it will be storing the um, my t as a string. Okay, so my t as string is a string value in which the data table string value will be stored. Okay, it will be converted, and this converted text should go to uh, the message message box so that we can see what is the uh, values. Means it has converted to the string, right? This data table, whatever the value was, it has converted to string, and that string value should be output. So output uh, will be specified from here. So I'll be outputting this one, and I'll be uh, just uh, debugging this file. Okay. So let's have a look. What will be the output? See, uh, this is the column names which are output firstly, and then the cell uh, values which were there present in the each of the table. It's comma separated values. It's output. Okay. 
so this uh, got output all of together right uh, for example if i want to access each uh, row one by one in that case what i have to do is i have to remove the message box uh, from here and instead of that uh, what i have to do is i have to convert um, i have to access each row right so i guess i have to remove the data table as well so i'll be uh, using a for each uh, row okay it is a different one it's not for each uh, which we used to use we are create uh, we are using for each row in the data table okay that one will be inserting it here for each current row in which table i am using i already told you this is my table my t and inside that what i will be doing whenever i uh, fetch any row and that should be the output right one by one so i'll be using a message box here in the message box it will be converting means it will be uh, outputting whatever i have um, accessed okay so what should be our output in this case i have current row here current row and in bracket i have to specify the uh, column name okay so what is my column name in this case first column name is emp name second emp age and emp salary so that's what i'll be doing here as well so the first column name uh, what i'll be writing here is emp name emp name will be accessed and then i'll be giving a space and after that i'll be doing the same thing current row and in bracket i have to write m age and after that what was the last row my last row was m salary right so before that i'll give a space and write current row again and in bracket i have to write m salary all right so this is ready every time it will uh, fetch the current row and it will uh, give the output okay so let's uh, have a look let's debug this file Okay, so here it's uh, showing an error. So why is the error is getting shown is because I have not uh, put two string. Okay, I have to convert whatever I have to the string value. Generally, it will be output in the um, message box. So whatever I have, I have to convert to two string. Fine. Let's try that one and see if the error goes. If not, let's see what's the issue. Now convert it into two string. I hope so. The error should go. Let's uh, debug the file and see. So first, what should be the output? If you remember, our first I have what is the row? A twenty five and two thousand five hundred. Second was B thirty and four thousand, I guess. And third one was C thirty five and six thousand, right? So this is the output. Okay. So this is how you use the table and uh, access each row and uh, out output the values. Okay. Next, uh, we'll be seeing the web scraping. Uh, for that, uh, we'll be going to some browser. so i'll be showing you what browser we are going to so this is the uh, page from amazon and in this what we will be doing is this is the first uh, book right this is the second book name and third book name and so on so what we will be doing is we'll be uh, selecting all these names i want all of these names which are present in this page okay so what i'll be doing i'll be using a web scraping for it okay so let's uh, have a look how it works so the first thing what you need to do is uh, we'll just uh, close this one if you have done with this one so create a sequence here after you have created a sequence then you have to open the browser so what you will do you will write open browser and this will be stored here and after you have done that you have to insert a url so this is uh, ready here so i'll be just copy pasting this one control c and i'll be pasting it here inside the quotes after i have done this one some activity should be performed here for that i'll uh, directly click uh, data scraping so in data scraping uh, i'll be clicking next here and i have to select this one first then it will ask me to select the similar second element what does that mean is if this is the first element like that only what is the second element you want i'll select like this only this is the second element so it gets to know what is the pattern so it will select all the elements which are present in this page fine then uh, what i'll do i'll click I'll click on finish so it's spanning multiple pages no so when i go back here i here i'll be having uh, many pages here so i can use this data i can store it and uh, display it so let's have a look at that 
So to do that, uh, what we will be doing is uh, we'll be converting whatever the data is present here into a string uh, data type. Okay. So for that, again, I have to use output uh, data table. So output uh, data table will be uh, used here. So as you can see here in the output data table, it wants an input which it can convert to the output. So what is my input? If you observe carefully, this is the input, right? Whatever I've extracted. So if you click here and uh, go to the extracted uh, thing here and click on variables, there you can see there is already uh, something created which is called extract data table, right? So this should be my input. This is the extracted content and it is of the type data table. This has to be converted to the string type. So what I'll be doing is I'll be copy pasting this name as the input here because the extracted uh, thing is the input. And then I'll be um, setting it in some variable. So I'll be clicking a variable name as uh, K. Okay. So in K, the final output will be there. Okay. This uh, value, whatever is stored in the variable K has to be accessed outside the data scraping. So what I'll be doing is I'll be converting this into uh, that is changing the scope of sequence. Okay, so I can access it in the whole uh, table. Okay, and uh, when I've created into the sequence, I have to output whatever I have stored. So I'll be outputting outputting in the form of message box, right? Because message box is the thing which I'll be using to output the stuff, right? So I have to use it here, and in message uh, output, what it should show is K. Okay, K is the output which will be shown. So let's uh, run this file. So before that, I'll be going, uh, telling you what is happening. Let's close this variable tab here. Now see what happened. I opened a browser and inside that what should happen is uh, it will uh, do means data scraping it will do. I've saved it. And in the data scraping, when it does these following things, then it should go to the output data table. It will convert the extracted data and convert it into the string type. And that string type, whatever I store in the variable, that variable should be displayed in the message box. Okay, so let's have a look at its execution. See, this is the thing which is getting the output. These are the first uh, five things. Okay, so how this output came from where it came that I'll be showing you. Okay, so what actually happened is it out opened this one, it uh, got opened, and these uh, things were copy pasted the first uh, five comic books. So, yeah, that's all uh, what was there about the data scraping. So, that's all for this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.